Hi guys, it's Jenny Belly. We're here to complete a journal page using the texture that we made in the last video. And what I'm going to do throughout this journal page is just try and keep that integrity um, of that texture on the paper. So what I'm going to do first is cover a background layer of pastels, these are pan pastels, applied with a sponge. And what my thinking is here is to try with the sponge and really get into the crevices of the bubbles so that it kind of highlights where the bubbles are. So where the creases are, where the paper um, then forms into a bubble, that crease at the base of the bubble is actually picking up um, more of the pan pastels and giving it like a little bit of a shadow effect. So this actually worked quite well. I'm quite pleased with how this background turned out. So I'm just using three quite um, pastel colours in the background because I'm wanting to intensify the colour with other materials. And the main way I'm actually keeping the bubbles um, visible and highlighted etc is using the media. I don't want to use anything that is going to compromise it in any way or cover it over. I want something that is going to show it for being all nice and bubbly. Okay now that I've covered the background with quite light pan pastels what I am doing is taking one of the smaller um, sponge applicator tools and going around the edge with a dark brown to kind of give it a grungy border. Now that I've created that border, I'm just spraying the page with hairspray to set the pan pastels. And now I'm deciding what kind of interest I actually want to take up the page. And I'm going to decide on one of my favourite stencils, which is a bird stencil. And I'm just deciding where I want it placed. If I want it in the middle, or if I want to I end up moving it across to create two birds. Room for two birds, one on each side of the page. I end up deciding on this homemade red spray. It has a bit of mica that I've put in it. And sprays are quite good um, on this background. You'll see me using them later to really help pick up um, the background texture. And if you wanted to, you could just keep it as stenciled. But I'm going to go over with all the different medias on the birds. Okay, so I'm going to do the same to the other side and just offset the bird a little bit just to give it a bit more visual interest than putting them side by side. Okay, the first media I'm pulling out to colour them in is actually these little metallic ribbons that you can get from craft stores. I'm just creating like um, a cover all over the birds, I guess, as a base. I end up really working on the birds so they might not be as visible, but um, I'm just building up layers here. And it's the same principle again, really. I'm using my finger to rub into the texture on the page so it's picking up where the bubbles are. Next, I'm pulling out my oil pastels. And because I wiped the excess spray away from the birds on the right-hand one, I removed a bit of its beak. So I'm just using the stencil as a guide to kind of fill in the details again with this dark red. I'm kind of picking colours out of the box that I might not normally put together. I'm just playing here. I'm not really planning. I'm just looking in the box thinking, hmm, I like that colour, hmm, I like that colour. And so on they go. Now these are Conte crayons, which are like a hard pastel, which are a favourite material of mine, I have to admit. And again, it's gonna help keep the bubbles because they are a pastel -y like texture you can smudge these a little bit so I am mixing chalky media here with oily kind of media but they're both keeping um, the intensity of the bubbles and I really do like mixing up different kinds of media together now I'm just using the stencil again and a pencil to go over all of that media just to give some nice definition to the bird again. Now I'm starting on the other bird and the process will happen again. Again I recommend going over the oil pastels or the normal pastels with hairspray to seal them and stop them when you close 
uh, your journal sticking, the pages sticking together. You can of course also put wax paper in between or cover them in beeswax or something. And now I've just pulled out the pan pastels again because I'm going to go around the birds, kind of giving them the same, a little bit more distressy look that I've done around the edge of the page. Now I'm just grabbing that paper that I used in the last video, that piece of scrap paper with all the texture on it, and a spray that I made with metallic paint in it. So it's quite a dark spray really, but can you see how it's really allowing the texture to show through? So I'm going to dry this off and then I'm going to somehow make some embellishments or something to fit on the page. This is India ink that I'm just using with my glass pen just to give some definition to the hand cut shapes. Here I'm just going around them roughly with a red ink pad again to define the edges but also to pick up on the red that I've incorporated into the birds. Now I'm deciding where I want to put the shapes and because this is a textured page I don't want to stick the shapes flat down onto the surface so what I'm doing is using foam pads to raise them up from the page which I don't often use in my journals at all but for some reason I just feel like this page is all about having this raised definition to the page so it just feels right to add them on with foam pads. The only sort of actual embellishment I'm using here is some large gemstones I've had in my stash for years and I'm just going around the shapes now with charcoal pencil just to again give the area around where they are a bit of a grungy definition. And once I've stuck down these letters that is the finished page um, that I did to try and keep all of that texture and all that goodness um, integral to the page. The main one I think was using the stencils for the main interest element on the page rather than say a magazine image or something that would cover up the texture. Also using that extra scrap piece of card that I used in the last video um, to actually create the embellishments for the page. Not to mention all of the materials like the oil pastels and the pastels and the sprays which are used to highlight um, the texture rather than cover it up. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Much love, bye bye.